Hi guys, it's Tessa. I hope you're doing good today. So in today's video, I'm going to be changing up my body jewelry that I have in my ears to some pretty little items that we have in Opal. So the first thing you want to do before you change your jewelry is you always want to clean the jewelry with alcohol before you put it in your body, okay? So I have a few different color Opal librettes that I ordered from V. 101. I'll put the link in the video description box if you're interested in getting the same sort of jewelry. So I want to put opal jewelry in my piercing holes. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but it's true. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change up my plugs that I have. I'm currently eight millimeters. So I'm going to put a little bit more sparkle we have. So I'm going to take these ones out. There we go. Ooh. It always creeps me out when I take them out. So there we go. So I'm gonna put in these beautiful opal plugs I have in purple. Now these ones I got from Crazy Factory. Always clean the jewelry before you put it in your body. So I'm gonna start with my left ear and I'm just going to pop the plug in. There we go. That looks so nice. Oh, super pretty. Let's do the other side. Oh, and there we go. These ones definitely have opal sparkleness. <laughs> the next thing I want to change up on my ear is my second hole in my left ear. I haven't worn anything in it for months and I think it might have closed up. So I have a taper in a 1.2 of a millimeter and I'm going to thread this through the closed hole and put in a ring. So I have quite a few click rings that I ordered online. So I was thinking of having a stack of rings in one hole. So pretty much having more than one ring in a hole, so I've got like three or four rings going in. First of all, I'm going to take the taper and I'm just going to clean it with alcohol before I put it in my ear. Now I'm going to thread the 1.2 of a millimeter taper through this closed hole, open up the hole again and put in a stainless steel clicker ring. Right, so I'm going to just pop the taper in and push it through. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of the clicker rings and just thread it through the hole. Now the size of these clicker rings is a 1.2 by 8 millimeters. And now just close the click ring in place. So I'm going to change up my forward helix. It currently has a librette bar. But the, the gem on the front, I don't know, it kind of looks a little discolored. So I'm just going to take this one out and change it to an internally threaded labret. So now I'm feeling that my ear is going nice and red. <laughs> there we go. But you can see now the forward helix without anything in. So I was thinking probably put a purple internally threaded labret in my forward helix. <laughs> Look how red my ear's gone. <laughs> I always think I have little hands, but then when I end up changing my jewellery, my hands aren't small enough. So I'm finding it quite tricky to thread the librette bar through the back of the ear. So I'm going to use this taper and put it through my ear. So now the taper's in my ear, I'm going to thread the internally threaded librette on the end. So I'm just screw that on a bit. Now push it through. There we go. Unscrew the taper. And it's in there, Wait. Now I'm gonna just screw the front of the librette on the top. So I don't think that is gonna go anywhere now. And now my ear is nice and red because it was so fiddly trying to screw the top on. Okay, so now we have the Ford Helix changed to purple opal, internally threaded librette. We've changed the plugs to purple opal. In my conch already, I had a blue opal. Okay, so I'm gonna change the piercings on my right ear. So I currently have two earrings next to my stretched hole. So I'm going to change these to opal librettes, the same as what we put in the Ford Helix. I'm going to just take the earrings out. This one's been in my ear for ages um, <laughs> and it's silver. So you know when you've worn silver for too long because it starts to turn black. 
So that's not good. If you leave sterling silver jewelry in your ear, the black that comes off the metal can stick to your ear and actually leave a black mark on your skin. So don't leave sterling silver jewelry in your piercing for too long. So this hole has a screw ball on the back, so I'm just going to unscrew that. It's coming. So I'm going to put a blue and purple opal of Brett in those two. Now because these are internally threaded, they need to be put in backwards so it goes in the right way for you to screw the front on. Oh! Mm. These internally threaded librettes are really fiddly to put in. Oh! Oh! That took so long to get in my ear. It was so hard trying to find the front. The fact that these are internally threaded librettes. The inside of the thread to screw on the front is so, so small. It's 0.8 of a millimeter that I'm trying to screw in this tiny hole. That sounds so wrong, but it's just so fiddly to do. We've got one more hole that I want to put the purple opal librette in. So this one goes in easy. There we go. Well, this one went on a lot easier than the first two. <laughs> now you can see the blue opal and the purple opal internally fed in the fret. I'm going to keep the ring how it is because I like this black ring. So for the top one, I think, I think I'm going to probably just leave this one in because I like the little silver star. So I wonder if my tragus is still open. I had this pierced, but I don't. I think it's closed up now. Oh, so I just opened my tragus up again. It's still open. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make sure that the front of the librettes are screwed on really tight because that would not be good if you were to go swimming and they come off. So I also wanted to change up my nose piercings, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to change the bottom of my nose piercings. So the high nostrils I'm just going to leave alone today, but these ones I'm just going to take out, just pull it to the side. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just take this one out. I'm going to take the other side out. And there we go, so we have the opal librettes here. So I wonder if I can fit another one in this hole. Push the taper through the hole again, and there is another room. So I'm going to put in another ring in this hole. I wonder how many rings we can fit in today. And pop it through the hole. Like that. And there we've got two rings in one hole. Aha! Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get three rings in this hole. So I don't think four would go in there, but I think maybe three could go in there. Stick it through. Well, there is still room there. The biggest size that this hole has ever been is eight millimeters. So that's the reason I can stick so many rings in because I did take out my tunnel that I had in there and I let it close over. So now, obviously there's still a little bit of room for stretching. Yay, we have three rings now. So I'm gonna close this one. I love click rings, they're so easy to put in. I don't think I could probably get another one in. I, I mean, possibly, but that's pushing it, considering there wasn't anything in here to begin with, and now there's three. So there we have these ones. Also changed the nose studs as well. There we go guys, that was me changing my body jewelry to different pre opal items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.